Hi there trailer owners, today we're going to be taking a look at Kurt's line of breakaway kits with batteries. Included with your kit, you're going to receive a replacement breakaway switch. This is an easy replacement, there's just one screw that holds it on. And so a couple of wires, you can cut your old wires, zip the screw out and put your new one back on. And then we can wire up the new one. You'll also receive a battery in your kit. This battery is a sealed battery that comes with its own mounting case and inside the case it has its own charging device in there that ensures your battery stays topped up. Let's head inside and take a look. Inside the battery is a 12 volt gel cell battery and it's nice that it's a gel cell because that does improve its cold weather performance. It's going to be able to maintain its capacity better in those colder weathers. And another nice thing about gel cell over your regular wet flooded lead acid batteries is the sulfation that those can potentially get. The wet flooded batteries, if they're let to sit in storage for many months, you often have to charge them up or else that the battery sitting there in storage will discharge and begin to sulfate. And that just greatly reduces the life of the battery. With those, you wanna charge them up typically between three and six months to make sure that they are maintained or you can get a battery maintainer for them. With something like this though, being a gel battery, you can go about nine to 12 months before having to top them up. So on a trail that you may only use once a season, something like this could sit the whole off season without having to worry about it. And then when we're ready, you can plug it in and you're good to go. So I do like that it's a little bit kind of a more maintenance free style of battery that you just don't have to worry about. We take a look at here at the battery box. We do have some information on the box. Down here at the bottom, it shows you the status if it's charging or not. This box here, we do have it hooked up to the seven way at the front. And whenever you're plugged into your truck, it's charging. We've got ours plugged into a test box that it's drawing current from right now, charging up the battery here. It does have an indicator here though, to let you know when the battery needs to be recharged and when it's fully charged. We can press the test button to get an idea of our current status. And it looks like we are currently fully charged. So likely this charging here is just maintaining our battery, maintaining it at its fully charged state. Inside our box, we have a 12 volt, five amp hour capacity battery, which is more than enough for your braking system. And if you have an event where you have a catastrophic disconnect, this battery is gonna be able to provide the amount of current necessary to apply the brakes and stop your trailer. We just converted our trailer over from electric brakes to electric over hydraulic, and the electric over hydraulic actuator is quite the power hog. You wanna make sure you have at least a battery with five amp hour capacity to ensure you can apply it. So that's why we chose this one today because this one is five amp hours, so we know it's got enough capacity to be able to apply our electric over hydraulic brakes in that event we have that a catastrophic disconnect. Inside the box, there's also a battery charging module. And all this does is it takes the voltage that's coming from your seven way to charge the battery, and it will vary the voltage to ensure that it's topping up the battery without overcharging it to ensure that it gets, does get to that 100% state of charge and it maintains it there. These battery boxes are gonna be DOT compliant, ensuring that you've got a way to activate your braking system in the event of a catastrophic disconnect. The five amp hour battery inside is gonna be enough for your electric brakes as well as what we've just done on this trailer, convert it to electric over hydraulic. There are two different versions of this battery available and that's just different mounting options. The one we're showing off today is the side mount with side load. So it's mounted on the side wall and you can see the door would open and the battery would slide in. The other version that is available is a side mount, but it's a top load. So you still mount it on the side, but the compartment would flip up. And this is really just depends on which is best for your particular trailer. I like the side load on fifth wheels and goosenecks with open compartments here. Cause once you open the door, you can look right in and see everything. And it's easy to be able to replace the battery. On your trailers where it's like an A-frame or it's going to be on the outside and exposed, you would likely want to use the top load one so you can mount it on the outside of the trailer and just look straight down and easily be able to replace that battery from the top. And that completes our look at Kurt's line of breakaway kits with batteries.